just got the first copy of my book. Prior to entry, and you hosted by Google Immigration Services. Hi, how are you? It's Brett Miller here. Fantastic service. Fantastic. Always recommend me. Always. Brandon Miller here. I just wanted to do a really quick video about bringing a vehicle to Canada, okay? Now, maybe if you're in another country where you have to put it on a boat and do something like that, maybe it's not something you wanna do, but maybe if you're in the United States and you want to drive your car across the border, maybe it's something you would consider. So, let's talk about can you bring a vehicle to Canada? There are different situations and rules around bringing a vehicle to Canada. There's regulations around vehicle standards and they depend on the status and length of stay and the type and the location of the vehicle. All right, most importantly, vehicles have to meet Canadian standards and that depends on the province and their regulations, okay? This is different within every province. Um, you know, it's basically, it's under their purview, so there can be some different, uh, different things for different provinces, okay? So, all requirements and regulations must be met before you bring your car to Canada. Now this is figured out by CBSA or the Canadian Border Services Agency and Transport Canada. All right. Two, importing my vehicle as a permanent resident. If your vehicle qualifies to be important, declare it with your other belongings to CBSA and follow the import procedures. All right. This is really, really important. So you don't want to pay duty on that vehicle later. So you want to declare it first off and there's forms that you can fill out at the border at the time that you're becoming a permanent resident. Bring it, if you're coming here as a temporary resident, i.e. a temporary worker, student, visitor, obviously a visitor, you're just driving it up, but more for a temporary worker or a student, you can bring your vehicle into Canada temporarily as a visitor or a temporary resident. You don't have to declare your vehicle as an import. However, it's recommended that if you're staying over three months, you do, you do document it. You can't sell or dispose of your vehicle in Canada and it must be exported when you need to leave the country. Importing vehicles from United States versus other countries, okay? There's a very big distinction here. As a general rule, if the vehicle you plan to import was manufactured for sale in the US and is less than 15 years old, then you need to see if it qualifies for importation under the registrar of imported vehicles. Vehicles manufactured for sale in other countries, not Canada or the US, generally don't comply with the requirements of the Motor Vehicle Safety Act, and these vehicles can't be altered to comply with the requirements and generally can't be imported into Canada. Now, let's talk about declaring your vehicle at the border. CBSA officers deal with the importation of vehicles at the Canadian Port of Entry all the time. The officers need to check required documentation and provide the vehicle import form, which is Form 1. They have to verify the vehicle's admissibility, facilitate payment, i.e. the import fees, and then you can bring your car in, all right? Now, this is a very simplistic look at it. You might want to engage the services of an importation professional or a broker just to make sure that everything's done properly if you're going to do that. But again, something that you're going to want to consider, you know, and I can tell you a lot of times if you have a good car and you're moving up, especially from the States and you can drive it up, why not, right? Why not? You're most likely going to save some money in that respect. Okay, let's leave it at that. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put them below. If you have any specific questions in terms of immigration related stuff or settlement stuff, please feel free to reach out. We're more than happy to help. And again, I would ask if you like this video or you want to check out some of our other videos that you like, subscribe and turn on notifications because we have really great immigration and settlement uh, related videos for people who are interested to come live in Canada and, and eventually get a second passport or just visit. All right. Hope you're doing well. Look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.